Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to our Monday night live Let's Play session. Good evening. Hello. I can see everybody's piling into the live stream, getting going, and I can also see the giveaways are popping up too down here in the corner, people entering the monthly giveaways. There we go. Death Angel has entered the giveaway for Train Sim World 4. This month, we've got Train Sim World 4, and we've got Dave the Diver. Uh, the more viewer plus subscribers we have, uh, the more giveaways we do. So, what's viewer plus? Well, <laughs> this content is supported by Viewer Plus. With Viewer Plus, you're directly fueling the passion and projects of Master Hellish. Be rewarded with game server access, Viewer Plus Discord channels, double Hellish points, exclusive videos, and more. With various plans to choose from, directly fuel the furnace for more thrilling entertainment. If you enjoy Master Hellish content, consider supporting today. And if you are not watching live and want to fast forward to the gameplay, the gameplay will be somewhere around this time here. You've got six minutes just over. Uh, and if you're not, if you are watching live, hello, welcome. Uh, you know, say hi in the chat if you wish. And uh, you know, you've got a few minutes to get a cup of tea or whatever, or, or sit around and chat while we get going. I must apologise. I've got a cold. That's right. After five weeks of illnesses, after chest infections, bronchiolitis, conjunctivitis, um, stomach bugs, and other things in our household, I now have a cold. <laughs> um, so my voice, my voice might sound a little bit different, but uh, there we go. We're, we're, we're good. Everything's all good. We're going to crack on with the live stream. Uh, I hope you're all doing good. I went outside today. I did a little video from outside. If you're on my variety channel, I did a short. Uh, so feel free to mm, check that out. I'm not wearing my glasses. I need to wear my glasses. There we go. Then I can see just that little bit better. And it is just a little bit better. I can see relatively well without, you know, quite well without my glasses. In fact, uh, until I put my glasses on ha after not having worn them a while, I can't really tell that there's a problem. There we go. There might be a bug in the announce my points chat to on the website. I need a little bit more information than that. Um, like... What do you expect to see? What do you actually see? And what are the steps to reproduce it? Fran the Man, good evening. Raphael, welcome. Bonnie and everybody else. Nervous wreck. Um, Brandon, hey Brandon. So Brandon is one of the people that's going to be joining us for the after party. So we have a gaming after party on my Discord channel after this live stream. So once, as soon as this live stream ends, we go over to Discord. I start streaming on Discord. And me, Brandon, I think Gabe and Rocket. I think we're that, that's who's going to be gaming tonight. Uh, I'm going to be playing PUBG for a while. So if you want to uh, come along after the stream and check that out, you are more than welcome to. Oh, yeah. The points don't get displayed chat after pressing the button. I mean, there might be a bit of a delay because of all the people entering the month monthly giveaways. So, I don't know. It doesn't get displayed in chat. It gets displayed down here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's intended. It's, it, it's intended not to go to chat. YouTube limit rate limits you the amount of messages you can send to chat um, without paying... A relatively large amount of money uh, so um, so yes you if you say uh, shout out my points it comes down here in the same place the giveaways are happening but there's so many people entering the giveaways you, you you're in a queue you're in a queue you'll get there we will get there yeah the only thing that goes to chat is when I press a button or Maybe the moderators press a button. Yeah, the YouTube, the YouTube API is great, and it's good for businesses, but it's not so good for people trying to do their own thing. Hey, Chexo Kid, welcome to the stream. So when I if I do a uh, pop-up, uh, like um, shouting out the, the Hellish store, 
store.masterhellish.net. Um, that will come to both the screen and the chat, but that's because I pressed the button for that to happen. Right then, so yes, so um, there's the there's the chat message for Twitch. So to keep them um, it um, short, um, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm okay. I went outside. I did a um, a short on my uh, second channel. If you want to check out the second channel, just go to the website masterhellish.net, um, and um, there is an after party for there. You are there's the store thing. That's how far behind it is at the minute. Um, there's an after party for PUBG on Discord afterwards. Um, and there we go. Oh, I think we're catching up now. We are catching up now. There we go. Look. With the pop-up. So many people entering the monthly giveaways. They are good giveaways though, right, folks? Train Sim World 4 and Dave the Diver. They're good giveaways, aren't they? If you go to the website, masterhellish.net, and then you click on the uh, Viewer Plus button, then you'll see that there are stretch goals. So if we've got 50 or more Viewer Plus subscribers, we do one monthly giveaway. Okay. If we've got 100 or more, we do two monthly giveaways. Uh, and then 200 or more, we do weekly. We do a weekly plus a monthly and all this sort of stuff. Brandon says, I've never heard of Dave the Diver. Brandon, get back under your rock. Dave the Diver is a amazing, apparently, game. I haven't played it yet, but I have purchased it, and I will play it at some point. Um, basically, it's one of those games that was just so well made, everybody's raving about it, even though there's no big massive marketing thing like you would get with some of the massive brands. Um, we're going to be jumping into the game soon, but I will, I will say I haven't decided if I'm going to do Dave the Diver... Just on my own on my um, Steam Deck, like when I'm nursing the baby and things like that, or whether I'm going to actually do it as a series. So I don't know if you lot would be interested in seeing that. So maybe let me know. You've never heard of Dave the Diver? Worth a look. Apparently, it's well worth a look. Okay, folks, so our game save is loading. We'll have it up on the screen very shortly. Uh, but yes, so far, the only known bugs in the Hellish Tools is that um, about 1 in 10 Twitch messages fail. And we don't know why, because it sends to the Twitch servers fine and then just never comes up in chat. <laughs> I have, you know, my rock is a tree. All right, Brandon, get back up in your tree. Oh, we went to the wrong screen. This is We're not doing Open TTD today. We're doing Transport Fever 2. I know the two are similar. Right, background music for this game is actually quite loud. Uh, let me know if it's too loud, but I think we're going to be all right. Uh, the YouTube API is generally quite good. It's the way that they handle the payment for tokens and verifying people and all of that sort of stuff. I don't... Think there's anything else that I need to do? So let's let's. Should we do a quick recap? Let's do a very quick recap. We started over here with this um, vehicle network. Uh, let's let the game run. With these vehicles going between the farms and the food processing plant, and delivering food back to the town. We also got this oil creating fuel, which is nice. Both of these towns require both food and fuel. Um, so it might be worth actually expanding both of these networks so that they actually deal and um, go to both of the town, um, both of the towns there. Hey, Nashorn, welcome to the stream. Uh, but we did that first. Then we started working on other things, including what became, later became, this main line. It comes from Jebula City here, all the way around, to Nick's Town, from Nick's Town, all the way to Fed Next the Sea. And from Fed Next the Sea, it comes all the way to Anvil Bay. And at Anvil Bay, we've got uh, some boats that cross the water. I say boats, I got rid of one recently because I weren't making money. Um, down to Old Tim Town, which by at the moment is just sat by itself. Um, and then last time, we started working on this absolutely 
fantastic little network here. This is actually two separate truck stops to make sure that all the routing is nice and neat. Look at that for routing. Oh, that's good routing. I like that routing. Very nice routing. Uh, we've got a train line taking our stuff down to our machines factory. And our machines factory is being supplied steel by train. And over from this island, we have wood. So we've got two trains bringing in my wood. And then my wood gets chopped at the sawmill. And uh, we take the planks by boat. So, you know, we've got a boat here right now. A ship filling up with planks. And soon that will depart back to the machines factory. Now, the title of today's uh, live uh, live stream is All Aboard the Growth Express. And the idea is, is that we're going to start growing some of these towns. Because uh, a, a number of towns nearby require these uh, machine parts that we've been producing. But I don't know how many towns we can supply with this. Okay. You're multitasking. I love a good bit of multitasking. Uh, I just got a notification. Bear with a second, phone, so I'm just going to check that. Uh, that's fine, and that's fine. Okay, cool. Good. My phone's running a little low on battery. Never mind. Um, so I guess we need to look into that so that we can work this out, make sure that these towns all get what they need. Um, what is the production here? So production is currently 100 out of 100. I guess it goes up to 200. And then one of these towns, um, like this one. See, it only needs 59. Train whistle, yes. We need a train. Oh, I've lost the train whistle. It's up here. Here we go, everybody. We're going to have a train whistle. Let's find a train. Let's find a train. Here's a train. Let's follow a train. That's a da -da 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 -da. Ready? <laughs> There we go, folks. That was quite a good one, I thought. Give me marks out of 10 if you like. Brandon Smith, hey all, hope you're doing well. Just catching up in the chat. Dave the Diver was fun to play through. I haven't touched it. I haven't even looked at it. It might be worth looking at if it's on sale. I've bought it. I haven't played it yet. I'm either going to play it on my Steam Deck in my own time, or I might do it as a live Let's Play of some sort. Um, so I'm interested to see what you guys know. And it's also part of the monthly giveaways. So go to portal.masterhellish.net to be in a chance of winning that. Right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we was looking at the towns. So at the moment, where's the town? At the moment, this town needs a supply of 59 machines per... per. Um, but presumably that would increase? I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, oh, oh! I've forgotten something. Biscuits. Uh, never mind. Right, tell you what. I'm going to go and get the thing I've forgotten. We'll go and have a two-minute break. And when we come back, uh, we will address this kind of ratio issue. If anybody wants to look it up online to see how many towns one machine factory can uh, keep going while we're on our break, uh, have a look and uh, shout out in chat, but I will be back in just two minutes. The new Master Hellish. Don't <laughs> 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 turn the fan on. I'm here. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's, it's, whoa. <laughs> did, did you like that? <laughs> oh, let's sort this, this rest. There we are. That's, that's the right way around now. Oh, retro hellish hair. It's, it's, it's a little bit retro for me, isn't it? <laughs> it is much shorter. I had a lot cut off. Brandon's been shot. Another Timberwolf has died. Oh my goodness, this isn't going well. Another Timberwolf has died. It's the Scythers. Oh, they're really mincing the wolves. This is not good. Okay, uh, now help out, shoot the scythers. Brandon's dead! Everybody, Brandon has died. This is not good. Not good. Oh, there's another, there's another one up there. Oh, and I 
crash the car in the mid mid switch. I should really switch the controller while he's getting. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Red thing, I'm sorry. But I'm going to switch to the pistol now. Oh my goodness, it's right behind me. It's got beer. Oh my goodness. Oh, all the zombies are here now. Oh, this was probably not a good idea. Right, here we go. Oh no. Oh no, I'm nearly dead. Okay. I did deal with the zombies that were chasing me. Not quite. There we go. Right, folks. Uh, I'm back, and we're all good. Uh, yes, we do need to get Egg to make more clips. Uh, it doesn't have to be DJ Egg. I think any anyone on Twitch can make clips. If you're a follower, I think. Um, but no, I've noticed recently we've done quite a few live streams and haven't created any new clips. So we do need to do some of that so that I can then pull them into my clip studio. Mm. But um, let's let's jump back into the game, shall we? Uh, boom! There we go. Right. Hi, Tim, and welcome. Right. Uh, it depends on how big the city is and, and what level the factory is, but one factory is for about two to three cities. Yeah, I'm going to make the assumption that, like, the the the, the factory will be maximum level by the time we get it sorted. Um, so, I mean, there are just, like, three cities here. So let's do those three cities, shall we? Um, and I think last time, if we go drawing mode, whoop, uh, last time, because look, this is our machines factory over here, right near my face. We've got uh, one, uh, two, and three places that need those machine parts. And we've got this beautiful little island here. So what I was thinking was, is that we take the machine parts in by train. I'm, I'll be right back. Oh, I left Brandon behind. Not just the science. <laughs> I refueled and left. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon's been shot. Another Timberwolf has died. Oh my goodness, this isn't going well. Another Timberwolf has died. It's the Scythers. Oh, they're really mincing the wolves. This is not good. Okay. Uh, now help out. Shoot the Scythers. Brandon's dead. Everybody, Brandon has died. This is not good. Not good. Oh, there's another. There's another one up there. Magic Brandon just sounds like a really bad kids TV show. It's Magic Brandon! Hey kids! What are we going to be doing today with Magic Brandon? Uh oh! Looks like Magic Brandon's lost his magic wand. He's not very magic today. Okay, so with just four hours remaining, we, uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh. <sighs> We've only had two raids. Oh, she's moving a little bit. <gasps> that was an awesome shot. I think they know it was me, though. I think I got seen. 
Not quite. There we go. Egg is on it. Oh, oh my. Oh. Stop it! What? Why? No! Come on, come on, come on! No! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I had next to no control over that. That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I'm trying to... I think... Oh! Train crash! Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it was less than 200. Um. What? What are you doing? I don't know. It's all going horribly wrong. Here it comes. And it has to go... There. Ah! <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> oh, my great. <laughs> uh oh, there's a lake and I have to get across it. Oh, I've got that new ability. Where is it? Yeah. There we are. We will just levitate across the lake. Got that last level, I think. Have a take. Right. It's pretty handy. Oops. There we go. I don't think I've ever driven down this road, so I am... I am taking it steady. I don't think it's going to take as long to get there. I think we're at, we're at least halfway as a wolf. It's two of them. Did I run them both over? I think I did. Are there any more about? Yeah, away, yeah, yeah. Away you go. This Wait. trap is uh, <laughs> safe. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's got me. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Got him. <laughs> you guys are so, like, I don't know if the weather... Why are you guys doing? <laughs> that a new for now. Wait, I'm dragging another log with me. It's fine. Turn right. <laughs> off you go. See you later. <laughs> Graves now actually driving off into the sunset. Okay, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, just uh, my son was just poorly, um, so my wife needed a hand dealing with that. But uh, looks like he's all right and. We've sorted a few things out, so um, we should be alright to carry on, at, at least for now. Uh, right, so, uh, as the towns grow, you might not be able to supply them. Okay, well, we'll see. So, uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do all of it, but yeah, like I said, I think we'll deliver it by train here and then split it out the road vehicles between these three different places. So, we need to get uh, a train to this island... Uh, with a station and then transfer it So let's put a terminus in no not a passenger terminus a cargo terminus a one-track one. and Let's see it's gonna be coming from Probably somewhere between that coal mine and that set of woods So if we kind of point the station in that direction yeah and we don't want it to be too high up so maybe we can lower it down just a little bit there and I am I, I think it's gonna just end up being some sort of long bridge isn't it so if we get a tracks and just go come pretty much straight out of here What does that look like? Okay. 
I mean, I don't think we can get any ships under there. So what if we bend it up a little? Oh, now we could potentially get some ships through by the looks of it. Is there different sorts of bridges we can have? No. I think it's too early for that. It's a long bridge, isn't it? But how do you maximize the profit in Transport Fever 2, though? Uh, you create lines that produce more income that, than, than they cost. Uh, I don't think there's any particular tactics. Or oh, do you have any specific questions? Hey, Graham, welcome. I think what we'll do, though, is we'll do a little bit of land raising. So we'll go from here. Come out. Uh, that didn't seem to do much. Okay, let's try again. Don't know how much that cost. Hmm, okay. Let's turn the strength up and the brush size up a little. Oh, that's the smooth tool. I was on the wrong tool. There you go, look. Oh my goodness, look at that. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Okay. So we've got this much room here and on this side it's not far off the same bridge pillar collision what bridge pillar okay let's go up oh um okay that's flat I mean that's as high as it will possibly go which is a lot Yeah, use lines in both directions. That's a good one. Yeah, so you you send resources one way, convert it, and then send resources back the other way. I think we should just do this flat and cheap, and then we'll send the ships a different way if we need to. Or worry about it later if we need to. So, flat and cheap. Brilliant. No, uh, let's see. I think I've caused myself problems here by causing collisions. So let's just get that soften tool. There we go. Let's see if that makes a difference. There we go. No, that's a collision again. It doesn't like something, does it, eh? I think it's these land juts that I've done. I don't remember that happening before. Well, I don't know. You try and make things all nice and wonderful. And you end up just making it worse. There we go. And you spend a couple of million in the process. There we go. Point to point. I mean, that's what I was doing, right? Is it because of the station? Hey, oh, that's fine now. Apart from the fact I can no longer afford it. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. So I think we'll be able to afford that soon. Untraceable Smurf, good evening. We need to press M if it says collision. I'm not so sure about that because I've 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 tidied up the landmass and now it's fine. Okay. It's all good being at this height. So the only thing is, is we can't afford it. What's the loan like? Oh, we haven't got much loan. Let's just borrow a little bit so that we can then put this line in. Also, I should say put this bridge in. There we go. 
So we've got the bridge in, and now we have to work out how we're going to connect that bridge up. Now, we have this double line here. That is what's going to be connecting to the bridge, and the bridge is just over here. So that's not actually too bad. I don't know if, if we go straight-ish, we are going to... Oh, what happens if we just connect it? Okay, if we just connect it, it goes straight through our truck stop. <laughs> okay. So we won't do that. We'll put in a bit of track here, like this. And then we'll connect up that bit there. So we've got a bit of a nice curvy flex into it. And then we'll do the same on this side. There we go. Good. And then we'll double up the track. All the way to about there and then we'll make a junction construction not possible doesn't like that okay let's try it the other way around come off the bridge and onto the track uh, i mean we ran out of money but yay <laughs> you spent almost two million landscaping i know right i just wanted to try something new sometimes you need to try new things So, um, that's weird. I got I don't know whether you guys heard that, but there was a sound um, notification. Never mind. Uh, right. Uh, we've got enough money now, so we can put that in there. Let's get the signals in. So, if I remember correctly, we were doing it like, uh, like this. There we go. Uh, oh, and that needs to be one way. There we go. Yeah, I think it was a Facebook notification, but I've got that set to not do sounds. So it shouldn't have done it. It's been naughty. Oh, I never even actually connected up the other end of the track. I totally forgot that I just I just put that bit of track in there for planning purposes. I never did the entire line. So now we can come down here and connect up that like this and then get another line in pretty close where does that one start bending let's mimic this one it's about there and we'll see if we can then connect ah oh, no not to that line oh there we go there we go nice I mean, it's uphill but never mind and then we'll put the same signal in which is there. Check that one's one way. I mean, in my opinion, there should be one way by default. There, that's just me. So now we've got this quad track, which will, that'll be nice for a screenshot, won't it? My cam is sometimes pixelated. Shouldn't be. Oh, if, it, if I'm scrolling around a lot, then maybe the bitrate can't quite catch up with it we used to have a big problem with that but then we uh we found the the settings that were causing the issue in obs it's not a problem with my internet or a problem with me maxing out my computer or anything like that so uh okay okay good right so that's uh, that's the line in we're going to need to afford a train at some point but let's um Let's look at the truck stop, shall we? This is going to be actually a relatively long road. What's the setting? I don't remember, Brandon. I don't remember what the setting was, but we, we tried a few different things and we got something working. Now, because we've got this line over here that stops boats from coming in, I think this one does too, so... Yeah, I don't care. Can we... We're going to need to connect this up... I can't remember how to do a transfer. I think we have to connect it to a road. Let's reconfigure this. And we will do a, uh, a side entrance here. 
And then off that side entrance, I will do my road. Like this. Boom. Nice. The game is fine, fine but the cam isn't. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Uh, I, we, it was weird. Connect to the road. Yes, we got the got it connected to the road. And then we're going to get um, a truck station. You don't need a road. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, I suppose it can go straight to the truck station. Let, oh, let's do that. Let's do that. That'll look good. I heard that then. Let's turn it off and back on again. And truck stop. You wish they added a feature for trains with mixed passenger and cargo cars just for realism. I mean, you could have some cars and then other cars, I guess. Right, I'm not sure I want the truck stop that way around because if I have other lanes, it's going to stick out the other way. So let's um, let's rotate this. Connect that to the back there. Now, trucks will always go in. Oh, hang on a second. Do we want them to go in around the back? Let's figure it out as we go along, eh? So let's configure this one. Remove this road and add a little bit extra cargo. And we'll add three. And then we'll do street access in here, maybe? I don't know if that will work. Oh, can we do that? We can try. Well, apparently I've done 10,000 steps today. It's because I went outside. Uh, mm, let's then connect these two up. And then... I guess just do a road straight across here. I don't think I'm going to get across there. Not like that. We're going to have to do a little bit of buildy wildy. There we go. Okay, now. For now, I'm just going to do... Ooh, I'm just going to do that. Just so it's connected to the network. And then, have we got a truck? We haven't got a truck stop here, but that's fine. There should be a road vehicle depot. Good. Right, let's see what happens if we try and do a new line. So I want to go to this station. And then I want to unload, let's say, here. I can't. Oh, I can. Okay, it's just a bit laggy. So then, that actually does look like it's going the right way until I change. Yeah, I was I was concerned that this was going to be the problem. It's going the wrong way. It's fine. At least we know what we're doing now. I'm going to configure this train station uh, to have a entrance over here. And then for the road, we'll put that in there. Configure it with by removing this, adding these Actually, we probably can remove both of them. There we go. That should be three there. Street access. Oh! That's weird. I can no longer add street access. If I put that in, then I can add the street access. That... Oh! I lost the game. Hang on a second. That is a bit strange. 
Well, we've got a wonky piece here, so I'm just going to remove the wonky bit. I'll just reconfigure this quickly. Just get rid of that. Come on. There we go. It's a good job it's got good music in this game, isn't it? There we go. And then from here to there. Okay, let's try that. There we go. That's wonderful. And we can continue to expand that way. Fantastic. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't want to go there first. We want to be able to go here afterwards. To Oh, hang on. No, we need to drop off in the right part of the city, don't we? Okay, let's get rid of that. Right, let's find out which part of the city really needs uh, a truck unload stop. Yeah, the background music is fantastic. Uh, it's actually more or less the right place. Uh, right outside the train station here. Uh, we don't want to replace the existing, so let's do it going in the other direction. No, 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 let's not do it in the other direction. That's bad. Oh, no, it replaced. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. If we go far enough away that it won't replace the existing. Good. Okay. And then we'll need the same in this town, which is in this area. And then we'll need something similar in this town, which is in... Kind of this area? That's Yeah, it's very central. I like that. We've got to get there somehow yet, but we'll see. I don't really want to come out the other way of the truck stop, so maybe a road round here would be best and across that bit. We have got the money to do it now, so let's, let's do that. So we're going to do a road across here. And I'm going to just make a small adjustment to the land around here. And we'll put in our road. So the road will come to there. There we go. And then this road will connect as direct as possible to the town. So we need to go around this bay and then straight into there. Nice. Okay, good. Now these roads aren't very direct, so we need to uh, do some better roads here. I think if we do something like... Oh, look at that. That's a nice direct road, isn't it? Uh, there's too much going on here, so let's remove that. Yep, that's fine. And then we need to somehow get a road into this town. We've got a railway here. So how about we go across the railway track to there. And then we need to bend around this cove and connect up somewhere over here. So let's get the bendy one. Uh, it's not very often I use the bendies. Let's, let's, no, no, no. Let's put a little bit of road in here like this and see if we can then bend that to here. Oh, there we go. And then will this then gently bend to here? There we go. We can get rid of this temporary bit of road I put in. And we could always get rid of these bits like this and then just kind of improve the corners. Uh, similar over here. Like, come down here, remove the two bits related to the corner, and then do the bend like that. 
don't think we really need to do that anywhere else. I mean, we could potentially do it here. I don't know if it will just work out the box, though. Although it's just going to complain about a collision. No. No. Not good enough. Um, we need to come out at a junction first. And then we'll, we'll go in. Nice. This is relatively uh, neat. The, this bit here can be better. So, uh, like that. Oh, that's much better. Good. Oh, okay. I like this now. I, well, I liked it anyway, but I like it more now. So, what I'm thinking with, this line that we're doing, we make this line for all of them. Let's get the... Uh, the stops. In, oh no, I did the stops, didn't I? I did do the stops. So it's line time. So we're going to add a station. We're going to say, hey, come over here and drop off there. Then come back here and fill up. Then go down here uh, and drop off there. And come back here. And then finally drop off there? Is that the one I put in? It is, isn't it? Let's see how mad those lanes are crossing over. Actually, they are not too bad. Very little crossover there. Um, all these different lanes are a bit weird, so we want platform one, two, or three. So if I do platform three, platform three and platform three but then give them the option of platforms one and two as well there we go you have about 475 trucks that's a good amount of trucks isn't it there we go so I think also we could do with a uh, road depot down here as well. I don't know how well that will fit. Maybe we could have it like over here instead. Or next to the train station. Let's have it next to the train station. But we'll leave a small gap in case we want to uh, increase the size of the train station at some point. So there. There we go. Good. Are you or not? I'm not any of... Uh, no, I'm not. It is a ridiculous question, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, coming up to somebody and just asking their alignment like that. Not, not really cricket. Okay, so that's the railway line in, the station at each end in, the main truck stop in, all the roads and the drop-off bits. I think we've done it all. We just need the vehicles. Uh, we've got 3.6 million in the bank account now, which is cool. Um, I, we haven't got anywhere where we can order a new train, but we've got a depot here, so it might be nice to put another depot in somewhere. Oh, actually... Yeah, let's put the depot over here. It's a relatively nice place for a depot. Mm. I am going to put it in line with the track. Well, I don't want it too high. So we will lower it. Um, the front seems a little low. And I think we also need a little bit of a wiggle. There we go. You want to use a different terminal for each round one. Otherwise, you'll only have a third of the space for goods waiting. Hmm. I think the way I've done it will work. But also, I think the way you do it will work as well. And I like the idea of them going to the different terminals, even if they have the option to go to the others. Yeah, I'm going to make a, a tweak to that. That's a, not, that's a good thought, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember anyone ever asking me my religious alignment. In fact, 
Topics of religious nature are not allowed on this channel. And you're going to go in timeout. There you go. I don't know why. I, that's why we've probably... I've never been asked it. Topic banned. And for good reasons. There we go. Let's go over and uh, sort those that order those orders out. So it, I think it would work how I did it, but I like your idea. So I'm going to uh, modify it so that we have one, two, and three. And then this one could be one, two, three. This one can be one, two, three. And then this one can be one, two, three. And it, hopefully it might be all right. Oh, Brandon already timed him out. Good boy, good boy. Nice, nice one, Brandon. Okay. Um, that's all good, that's all good, and that's all good too. Uh, I'm going to configure this and get rid of this uh, module here. Can I get rid of that without breaking it? There we go. Nice. Added that, we don't need it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, the rules are all over the place. They're on my website, they're on my Discord. You have to agree to them on... I think you have to agree to them on both Twitch and YouTube before even talking. Um, and, uh, yes. Religion and politics, not allowed here. Not necessarily because I don't want to talk about it. It's because people... Two reasons. One, this isn't really the place for it. That's not what we focus on here. And two... People can't talk about it. Right. Um, yeah, my religion is the church of the commuter tank engine. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'll allow that. Uh, what kind of train do you align with, electric or diesel? <laughs> uh, you know what? I would probably choose electric over diesel, uh, but I would choose steam over electric. Probably a better idea to connect both sides of the tracks to the train depot. Why above the line? Why, oh, why, oh, why would you say such a thing? Okay, doing a bit of smoothing around here now. Seriously, though, I, I don't see a reason why you would do that. Weep. There we go. Magnets over electric. There we go. Uh, so, we've got our interchange in. It's on a little island, which I thought is cool. Um... Oh yeah, I mean, there's people coming on asking uh, all sorts of questions. Um, I just didn't pick up it was a religious one, to be honest. The... Yes, let's get the train. Let's get the train. Here we go. So the train's going to come from here. We're going to buy a new... Oh, hang on, we haven't got the line for it. So, uh, add new line. We're going to go from this station, where we pick stuff up, all the way down to this station, where we're going to unload it. Now, this one we're going to say load any, and this one we're going to say unload ticks, so I think we might be all right. There we go. Um, uh, let's see. When you use cargo trucks outside the cities, um, like mostly I just use trains. Yes, I mostly use, I use trains, um, but I like to put some trucks in sometimes. Uh, it depends on the distance. If the distance is usually relatively small, then I do it and it's fine and they make good money. If, uh, if not, we go with trains. Um, evening, mate. Uh, catch, good to catch one of your streams the first time in ages. Hey, good to see you, uh, Pat Kings. Come, welcome back. Uh, bought a game today for the Xbox. It's looking like it's going to be fun. It's going to be David the Diver. <laughs> um, okay. If for some reason you ever need to send the train back to the depot, it's just easier and quicker. You don't need to send them back to the depot. You can modify them and sell them just on the line. And they don't service. So again, you don't you don't need to. Um, what am I doing? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I was just talking about the depot, the train, the 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 the. the, 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 the here we go, look. So we've got an inter-town inter um, truck network here, but the towns are relatively close together. So I've opted for trucks here. Also, it was our starter network. Where we're doing it over here is normally what I would consider too long for a truck network. Um, I wouldn't normally do trucks going between here and here over this sort of distance. 
or this sort of distance or that sort of distance like maybe if it was going between this place and the city or maybe if it was going between this place and the city um but i'm doing it here because i like the idea of having an interchange on an island and then spreading it out in all different directions not because it's a good idea <laughs> it's just an idea not necessarily a good one uh right then what are we doing next uh buying our train no yes we've done the line let's buy our train the train's going to be in here so what train are we going to buy well pretty much all of our trains have been this one so far but that's not what what's locomotives have we got available it's the worst one but then like that one's not really an option to me i don't like it so we've got to pick between these three. That one costs quite a lot of money. I mean, we've got a good bit of money now. Um, it goes twice as fast. And this train's going to be doing quite a journey as well. It has double the power over double the traction effort. I think that's going to be it. You end up using more trains and trucks. I mean, that's why we play it, isn't it, for the train? You know what? We're going to have the new train. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Too much money. We'll do that thing where we don't have the new train, and then we're, we're going to promise we'll upgrade it later. Um, get the A35. It's, that's all of our money at the minute. We won't be able to afford the carriages. So for the wagons, we're going to be transporting the machine parts. So... Not that one, not that one, not that one. It's going to be this one. How many boxcars can we go on until we get poor speed? Oh, way too many. Right. In that case, what is the length of our stations? I can't remember. Let's go have a look. Standard length of a station is... 160. So, if we get our steam loco and fill up for 160, how much is that going to cost us? Like full length train here. So that is 161. Let's get rid of that. That's going to be 6 million. Um, you only use expensive locos for the long and profitable lines. Yes, we're definitely doing cheaper. Graham says... Um, Traction effort is very important in Transport Fever 2, uh, more so than in Open TTD. Yeah, lots of things in this game are more important than Open TTD. Open TTD does simplify a lot of things, and also, like, the distance involved in Open TTD much, much greater. Like, the train gets up to speed within a much shorter amount of the map's time, and then you spend that top speed for a longer period of time. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just get the most expensive one we can afford. The biggest one we can afford. There we go. And then we're going to assign it to this green line, whatever that is. Line 2. We're going to rename the line and colour it soon. So the train... Is the train coming? Yes, the train is on its way. There we go. There we go. So that's hopefully just going to go and pick up. I've told it to full load on line two. Um, so hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good. I don't think I told it which platform to go to. So let's double check. Oh, it is in the right platform. So we've got one platform for a drop off and one platform for pickup at the moment. And to be honest, I think that's fine. I just got to go all this distance. Right, we need road vehicles now. Have you ever played this game with mods? I don't think I have. I think all four Let's Plays, two of Transport Fever and two of Transport Fever 2, um, have been without mods. No, we're going to get the vehicles now. We're going to get the trucks now. Hi, Max. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to get our cargo truck, which is going to be this one then we're going to buy it and assign it to line one what is your favorite 
terrain gen in this game. You always go with tropical theme, switch between. I'm not sure I have a favourite one. I just um, I just like to change and um, switch between them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did I get that vehicle going? Here it is. So I, we what we didn't do on the line, if we no not manage vehicle, manage the line, is we didn't set full load orders. So full load, full load, and full load. There we go. I bet there's a lot of stuff in the workshop. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do one more series of this in the future, and it will be a modded one. Maybe. Right, so so far we've only got one truck, but that's fine. We'll just throw more trucks at it as we need it. Uh, is this train loading? Has it got anything in it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, but there is a shipment coming. Okay. Have we got a ship coming? No, we've had a ship just leave. Damn. Okay, let's look at our lines and see what the situation is. So, all but two of our lines are making money, and the two lines that aren't making money are the two that we've just built. So that doesn't count. Um, looks like most things are good. Yeah. You like the cockpit view? Yeah, I like the cockpit views too. Like th this view? Yeah. We need to go back inside the train, though. There we go. We can pretend we're in the train and hanging our win head out the window. Is a window there? Yeah, there is a window there. Hello, Barry. There's not a lot going on at this platform. Hang on a minute. I turn around. That's weird. Oh, and the camera moves. Anyway, what's happening over here? Well, it looks like this stuff. Yeah. There's probably more polygons in that cab than in Railroad Tycoon 3. Oh, oh, look, we've got a machine park. We've got one. Fantastic, we've got a machine part. So then we know that's working. Our money's, we haven't got any money, but that's fine. Uh, this is going okay still. That's, that's nice that that's working. Uh, this train over here, where is it? This train I think is struggling a little uh, because it keeps picking up lots of stuff and coming back and there's even more on the platform. There's 186. You know what? I think we need to clone that train. We need two. We need to clone that train. Uh, what line is that? It's... Oh, hang on a minute. This train's on its way. Okay, so we've got two. Well, they're having a race. So even if you tell a train to full load in Transport Fever 2, eventually it will leave anyway. Yeah. Did you make your save games available? Not for this. Uh, I've got my open TTD game saves up on my website. So, if you want me to make my game saves available, I will do. Oh, there we go. Your game has almost a thousand vehicle mods. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Full load doesn't work. It does work, but there's a limit. Okay, that's 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 how it is. All oh, the train lines have separated. You can customize the waiting time for full load. Oh, cool.
Hmm. I might customize the waiting time. I wonder, is that a global setting or is that just something in the line or... We'll see what happens over here. So I think our vehicle will have ran away. Yeah, our vehicle's gone already. So what I will do is I will get another vehicle on that line. Um, let's have a look. Is it is the waiting? No, that's not the waiting time in there. Maybe it's um, line manager per stop. Okay, so in this train, for line two, manage the line. What's, um, is it in here? Oh, there it is. Found it, found it, found it. So the maximum stop time says three minutes. So we're going to make it infinite infinite there we go and we will do the same for the road vehicles there we go I mean, it doesn't matter too much because once things get going it'll be all right where are the road vehicles one of them's in town Oh, the other one's in town as well. But there's a little bit of stuff waiting to be picked up, so it's good. Reduces the frequency. The factory doesn't produce as much. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's clone them. And then we'll clone one, and that means we're going to have five on that line. Okay. Oh, they didn't come out of this depot. Where did they come from, then? I don't know. But the train's on its way back anyway. So let's uh, repay a bit of that loan. Would be nice to get rid of it eventually. Let's have a look at our lines and see if there's anything that we need to improve. Now, first thing we need to... We need to rename these lines as well. So this line two is transport seeing the uh, machines. So if we uh, modify the colour... Let's do white. Because that's not going to confuse me. At least I don't think so. Um, so this will be... What's the name of this? This will be Jack Machines or Mech. What have we been doing? Been doing the full name? Um, yeah, we've been doing the full name, but they're all short. Uh, they're all long at the minute. But I think this is the long, first long one. So Jack mech or mac or match yeah it should be match shouldn't it jack match that's the jack match line there we go and then this line one is the one that's going to distribute it so we need to name this island um so let's name it after a viewer plus subscriber. This content is supported by viewer plus. Let's um, let's go and run the wheel, and I'm, I'm going to pick a viewer plus subscriber who's in chat tonight. Um, so if you are a viewer plus subscriber and you're in chat, you need to have chatted within the last ten minutes or so for the bot to pick you up. That's how it works. Um. You know what? I'll give you a few minutes to shout out. Let's go back to the game. I'll give you a few minutes to shout out and chat. Just in case you want to be within the chance of having your name in the game. So our vehicles are coming back in. We can see that we've got um, supplies coming in. Overall money's not great. But it's going to be fine. It is. I kind of feel like this should be a bridge as well because it's like a land bridge. It's not a proper island, so let's uh, let's change that. So if I get the tools here and I go um, dig, oh, I can't afford that. Let's borrow, let's borrow a million to do it. Let's borrow a million. Uh, we're borrowing a million just to put a bridge in that we don't need. 
There we go. Then we soften it. Hopefully, now that just works putting the bridge back in. Uh, there's a collision there. So I think I need to... do that and put the bridge in. Yeah, I'm too, I'm too close to the water's edge. There we go. Elaine, welcome. Hmm. I like how that's nicely curved off there. It's a nice little bridge. There we go. So now we've got a bridge. I mean, we've paid a lot of money for it, but never mind. Yeah. How's the Mac train doing? Um, still loading, I think. Oh, it's not here. Where's it gone? Oh, it's on its way back? Yeah, it's still on its way back. See up. I wonder if we can follow it in the smoke. There you go. Visibility is not the best. So at the minute, the statistics on this one's terrible. The finances. Like, it's cost a lot of money over the last two years. And it's made a tiny bit. But it only had like two machines on it. Well, is it slowing down much? 48 kilometers an hour up this gradient. Oh, it took that like a champ, I think. Oh, you didn't want to hit the 10 minute loan. Okay. Right, let's, um, let's do it. Let's... Um how many have we got here? 61. What do we carry? Uh, just over that. Just over that. Okay, well, let's let's um, have a look. Who's it going to be? There we go. Chief. Bograts. Congratulations, Chief Bograts. We're going to name an island after you. Somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure about how we're going to do that. Where's the island? Here's the island. So we'll start with like the, the, the primary... Oh, is that all one station? No, it's not. Um, let's, let's, oh, no, there we go. I'm just going to put your name in brackets here. We'll, we'll know that it was you. Obviously, it doesn't pop up with, like, a sign or anything. Uh, but that's because, um, it's not a town. I don't know if we can add a sign. I don't think we can. Let's have a look in assets and things. So, what's that? A razor tool? I have no idea what. Oh, actually, I do know what that does. I'm not sure. Yeah, do it for all the stations. Yes, we will do it for all the stations. But we need to we need to name the island based on Chief Bograt's name. Friend of man says I didn't see my name on the wheel. Well, that's because you either didn't speak within the last ten minutes. Or you haven't set up your name correctly on the portal. Or maybe there's something else. But so far, those have been the only two reasons in the past. Um, so 
the game continues. Oh, the two trains are on their way again at the same time. That's pretty cool. And it looks like they're both going the same speed, so going down the hill when you're leaving just gives you the momentum. Yeah. Oh, train whistle. Good idea. Perfect. Don't you have to be logged in on the portal as well? Nope. No, you do not, Graham. So this is where the two lines split. Now, how much income do we think this train's going to make? Okay. It's got 64 machine parts on it, and it's going quite a journey. Should we have some guesses in chat? I'm going to have a think about this before I just go out there and shout out a guess. Hmm. Timon says, zero. That's a good point, actually, because it's delivering to somewhere where it's going to be transferring. I can't remember, recall how that works in Transport Fever 2. Their tracks will never meet. <laughs> well... They may do. They may meet in the future. Nats Horn says one million. Brandon says half. Graham says a quarter. I'm not sure if Elaine's in thousands or not. You know what? I, I was also thinking around a million. So I will go just under. I'll say 900,000. Uh, Chegzo Kid coming in with 600,000, and we're not too far off um, its arrival, actually. So that's good. Um, but Fran the Man, if you want to uh, query your your settings, um, send something on Discord or something like that so that we can look into why you didn't show up on the wheel. I bet it's you've got your YouTube username. Where I pretty sure think I'm pretty sure you need your uh, user YouTube display name in there, but it, I'm pretty sure it says that. Okay, o oddly specific numbers. Yeah, Chief Bograt is 450. Yeah, Untraceable Smurf is saying 850. So Untraceable Smurf is going just 50k um, lower than me. Um, let, let's find out. Uh, it's about to come into the station. All of our, tr well, not all of our trucks. Oh yeah, all of our trucks are sat waiting. We're gonna need some more trucks, and we'll we'll deal with that soon. It's trying to get in a good position here. Okay, the answer is seven four nine. So that is a little bit cheap. Uh, not quite as much as what I was expecting. Vradchuk, I think you're closest. With a guess of 735. Found the man way over 1.25 million. Yeah, but they see, look, these trucks are all going crazy now. They're all getting ready to leave. Uh, we'll say, hey, these trucks, let's double them. We've got the money. I was expecting them to come from here. Oh well, never mind. These ones are not full yet. Hmm. Okay, maybe they're going to a particular location or something. I think we might need more than one of those trains because there's already 46 waiting. So... I don't have enough money to clone the train, though. Which is unfortunate. How's the routes going? 
Uh, so at the moment, uh, that train is at Jack Mech is actually doing really well, uh, but it did just make its first big delivery. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and line one's not doing great. Uh, but we also need to rename line one. And line one will be also named after Chief, Chief Bograt. So maybe it can be um, Chief Mechanic Island or something? Oh yeah, using the exchange rate. Using the exchange rate excuse, yeah. Okay, folks. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, I don't normally do this very much, but I'm going to actually let the game run while we take a five-minute break. i just go and check on my son, make sure our family's all okay. Uh, stretch my legs. So if you want to make yourself a cup of tea or anything like that, now is a good time to do that. And I will see you in five minutes where we will crack on with some more Transport Fever goodness. But here we go as those cars come now. Badger Goat is up. Restream Bot goes further and higher. Master Hellish into the band. Oh my goodness, they're all crashing into the into the crowds. Oh, this is terrible. That That is... Oh, Brandon nearly makes it over. Brandon goes over the top. Brandon has gone over the top and is driving on the roof now and then goes down and lands on the people in the lower parts of the stadium. This is... <gasps> no! No! Oh, no! We lost our... No I can't pick it back up. Well... Bye bye nose cone. Oh damn. I'm pretty sure it's only essential for takeoff anyway. That looks like the back plate. Well there is already something on there. But I think I'm gonna have to remove it. And the big question for me is, does this already have thermal paste on? And the answer is no. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, away, yeah. away you go. This Wait. trap is uh, safe. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's got me. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Got it. <laughs> you See guys you are so, like, I don't know if the weather... Why are you guys doing <laughs> Yeah, that'll do for now. Wait, I'm dragging another log with me. It's fine. Turn right. <laughs> off you go. See you later. <laughs> Graves now actually driving off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, this is Bye. Oh, right, I've actually managed to finish sowing. Okay, it'll be nearly time to harvest. Yeah, I am pretty. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done folks? He's going to be the first to say it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done it. Yeah, backwards. It's all backwards. Luckily though, it, it won't be too bad to redo. So let's put uh, some signals in to get the signals down there going that way. Signals going down there going that. Ah, uh, no, no, no. They're all on the wrong side. Oh, no, they're not. It appears that this entire part of the network is backwards. Oh, we'll have to, we'll just have to live with that. I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'm not changing it. It's staying like it. But I'm going to switch to the pistol now. Oh my goodness, it's right behind me. It's got beer. Oh my goodness. Oh, all the zombies are here now. Oh, this was probably not a good idea. Right, here we go. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, I'm nearly dead. Okay. I did deal with the zombies that were chasing me. You going now? Yeah. You know where you go? Christmas party time for lady. I don't get. We, no, I missed my Christmas party because what was I? Doing? We're seeing family, wasn't yeah. we? We're seeing family. But there we go. There's baby hellish. Somebody will. Somebody will clip that. Um, <laughs> let's have one more side view. One more time. There we are. Hello. <laughs> says donate more. He says. <laughs> says donate more. All right. Follow and I crashed the car in the mid, mid switch. I should really. Switch the controller while he's getting. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! <laughs> the red thing, I'm sorry. So if I put this, oh, of course the local authority refuses to allow. Right, we're going to bribe them. Oh, we've been found out by a regional investigator. Oh, fab. Ah. Okay, folks, I am back, just checking on my son and everything else, and it seems to be all good for now. Chief Mechanic Island. I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this Chief Mechanic Island Station. Oh, hang on. No, there we go. And we're going to rename this to Chief Mechanic Island Stop. And then, can we name the depot? I don't think we can. Okay. And then this will be the Chief Mechanic Island Distribution Center node thing. Um, Island. Don't no, just call it Chief Mechanic Island Nine. <laughs> Sorted. There we go. Um, what's going on here? Using my time to answer client messages because they have no concept of work hours. Ah, yes. Everybody seems to work all the time now. It's ridiculous. Two thanks. You can name the depot. Oh, I definitely want to do that then. Oh, it's there. There it is, of course. Did it. Let's give it a capital D. It deserves it. There we go. Okay, so we've got quite a lot. It looks like there's a lot stacking up. But then there's also a lot of road vehicles that are waiting. Like, we've got... Oh! Oh, it's because they're using each other's lanes. City me. Yes, okay. Uh, where's the line? There's the line. Okay. No. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Just use one stop for each. That should fix it. I don't want three different lines. I could make three different lines. Chief Mechanic Island Distribution Node thing. Yes, Graham, that's exactly what it is. How's this train looking now on the finances? Wow, wow, woo, look at that. It's done two deliveries in one year and all of a sudden it's made a lot. That has a lot of money. Okay, there's a time scale here, but I can't change it. Maybe because it's only been going for three years, eh? Oh, right, okay. Money's pretty good. Let's uh, repay as much of the loan as possible. And then we'll nip some back if we need it. So we've got three towns growing now over here. 
Um, or at least potentially growing. We still need to do other things but to help. And we still need more regular deliveries. We do need more trains. Also, this town, we're not doing anything with it. So we need ideas. What do you think I can do with this town? Okay. And then, over here, I think we need an upgrade. Because both of these towns take both of these things. But only one of them is actually getting the delivery. And they're making some pretty good money last time I checked. Uh, oh, okay. Party food. I'm okay. They're in the positive. So I want, to, I want to adjust these lines to drop off at both locations. So let's have a look at the town. And look at the truck drop-offs. So one of the truck drop-offs is here. That's good for fuel. But for food, we ideally want it probably there. And then over in this town, the food drop-off is here, which is good for food. But for fuel, we probably ideally want it there. There we go. Uh, tram to another station in another town. Oh, that's an interesting one. Didn't think of that. I'll have a think about that. Graham says, Hellish, are you a fan of 4K type games like Civ? Uh, I don't ever remember playing Civ. I think I own all of them. <laughs> um, how, how terrible is that, eh? Humble bundle! Um, right, so this yellow line, the party food line, what we're going to do is we're going to do similar to what we said over on the other side. So we've got this situation where we're picking up the grain... We're going to pick up the food and then we're dropping off at School Lane. After that, we want to then pick up the grain, pick up the food, but then come over here and drop some food off there. This um, visit here to pick up the grain wants to be full load and all the other ones do not. Now, that might mean that this needs expanding, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. And we'll do the same for the vehicles on this road. So for the brand fuel line, after we've done all of this route, we go back to the place where we get the raw resources. We go to the place where we drop it off. Oh, there's a double there, because we pick up and drop down. Oh, no. I think. Hang on. Transfer to branch. Then to exchange. Okay, hang on a second. I think I've broken this. Transfer, branch, exchange, and after exchange... Oh, yes, there we go, to the road. Then back to transfer, back to branch, back to exchange, and then all the way over here into party town and back again. Okay, uh, we've got it correct now. This one here is a full load. And I think we're all good. Boats. Not using boats just yet, Brandon. Maybe we will do some boats. Maybe we will. Curtis says, brand new to open TTD this past two weeks and binged all of my content. All of it? I doubt that. In two weeks, I have over 500 open TTD videos. Uh, is this one your favourite modern transport game? You know what? Somebody's never put the question quite like that. They've asked a lot of questions like that. Like, 
or is it similar to OpenTTD or is it a spiritual successor to OpenTTD or um, you know is it a brilliant transport but is this my favorite modern transport game yeah I, I think it is certainly in this genre yes I think it is <laughs> not all but you know <laughs> yes I highly recommend the tutorial series I highly recommend checking out the spotlight videos and I highly recommend season 6 and season 10. Those two were my favourite seasons, I think. Right, now these ones probably aren't going to be quite as efficient on the money-making side of things now. But they are going to start growing the towns even more. Noise pollution's not great. But hey, it's going to be okay. We may need more vehicles on the line. Also, I just realised... Uh, this route might not be very efficient. Eh, it's quite efficient, actually. There we go. You usually keep crude oil and fuel lines separate since they have different rates, just for managing them conveniently. I mean, they do have different rates, but... This, um... Like, it was on the way back anyway. Season 10 was lit, apparently, says Graham. Yeah, it was good. Season 6, I think, was good. I think... Maybe season five would come in at a number three for me. Season five, season six, season ten. And you know what? I think it's because they were challenges. Like, season five was a city growing challenge. Uh, season six was my UK quad challenge with, you know, vanilla city growing, vanilla uh, transport, and a, and a couple of other things. And then season ten was just like the combination of all the challenge type things that we've done all bundled up into a one set of mods and, and one map and we've still got one video of season 10 left to do your game saves and we will do that in june i think i think okay so hopefully this is all going okay and we haven't got too much of a problem i'm not seeing any road vehicles going where they shouldn't um is there something else in announcements No, I just missed it. PUBG tonight, what's this? Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, that's all good. Yeah, just double, just catching up on things over here. Yeah, stream chat and, and moderators, anything in the mods. No, good. Right, so yes, yeah, so this should be starting to like provide both times now. Uh, what's going on here? Oh no! How have we ended up with fuel here? I think that's probably just when I made my mistake. I'm going to ignore that. I, I'm going to ignore that. It's probably fine. Right, how are we doing down here? Hmm. Overall, not too bad. There's a few queuing up. Like, it's not even. Uh, your plan was to try some new ones, but uh, TTD was your favourite. Maybe in eight years. Yeah, maybe in eight years. Everything's always in eight years, isn't it? Uh, right, so what train is this? That's train three. Where's the other train gone? Oh, it's here. Just about to come into the station. So, uh, we don't have the money to duplicate this train, but I feel like we need to. There is quite a lot to pick up and production is dependent upon that transport so we will borrow loads of money I will select this station Jack Mech manage vehicles and clone it and then I will put all the money back again there we go so we've got six and a half million in loan which we're struggling to shift but we're doing it we're getting there we're getting there. Now, because I have no signals on that line, except at either end, it should be fine for now with two trains. That will definitely be fine for now with two trains. Okay.
Uh, how's the main line doing? I haven't seen any trains down. Oh, here we are. There's a train. It's doing fine. We really... You need to duplicate the other train too. What other train? Do you mean... So that there's three trains? Where are we? I'm getting lost now. There we go. Oh, do you mean this train? Uh, train three doing the um, steel. I do need to duplicate that train. Okay, let's let's go for it. Uh, let's do it. Again, borrow a load of money. Uh, manage the vehicle, select it and clone it. And then put all the money back. How much money we got left? Oh, we've got an 8 million loan now. So now we've got two of these trains on each of these lines. We spent eight years not playing. Oh. Ooh. Ouch. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one, that is. Right, so I think our other train's going to have to wait. Uh, I can see it coming in the background there. I think we've got a signal. Yes, look, we've got a signal here. But I don't think it'll have to wait long because this train is loading. Like proper loading. We're nearly transporting everything. We're at halfway through level one by the looks of it. We need more coal, apparently. Yeah, we'll keep running out of coal. And we've got plenty of coal to be picked up. So... Manage vehicle. One, two, three, four, five. Clone. We'll get another five coal vehicles on there. And there you are. Look, there's those two trains passing. So those two trains are passing and now these two trains are going to pass as well they're going to do it about here well how close can i get this well what do we reckon folks i'm listening to the stereo sound they both sound pretty similar but i think on the right hand side might just be first yet that was so perfect Oh, that was so perfect. Okay, um, how are we doing over here at the sawmill? Okay, uh, we're transporting everything, apparently. We've got no wood stored, and there's a ship waiting. Why have we got that problem? Well, we've got wood building up, logs building up here and logs building up here so what we need to do is improve these two lines and we said we would do that at some point so let's do that so i think what we'll do is because that one curves to the right we will take it from there oh we've got no money we spent it all you need more signals i, I don't think i do uh, I, I could potentially get more signals but Like, it, it will keep the train spaced for now. I could upgrade so much. So, so much. Uh, let's get this log line upgraded, though. Both of these log lines. So that we can get another train on there. Uh, this one's going to be really expensive to do, though. I've just realised. Let's not do that one first. Let's do this one first. So... Oh, we got no money again. Oh, the money keeps disappearing. What? How are the lines doing? See, they're all making a profit. Which is good. Definitely good. Could any of these be making more money? Yes. Both of these log lines could be making more money, I think. Wow, they're making the most, nearly the most money, apart from the main passenger line. 
And I'm kind of thinking we could probably do with another passenger train on that line as well. Hmm. Well, of course, when we get the money. It's all about the money at this stage, isn't it? But we are expanding these towns and growing them. Both of these towns should be growing quite nicely. Uh, they're both getting... Well, that one's getting food. Haven't really had any trucks go to the other place yet. But look, food trucks are now starting to come this way. So food trucks are now starting to come into Brandonville. So soon we'll get a supply of food and that will give us a uh, percentage boost. Might need some more road vehicles though because the... I think it's the wheat piling up. Yeah. The wheat is piling up a little. Okay. okay. Oh, we got our one and a half million. What was we doing? Railway lines, that's it. Uh, railway lines, excuse me. Uh, let's go from here. to there and then can I just like have that go all the way along this oh I need to get rid of the last couple of lengths of that log lanes are probably not hitting their top speed I mean they're relatively flat track so that shouldn't be too much I mean this one is a gentle incline But if you look at the vehicle on this, um, you can see it's medium on the pulling power. But uh, let's get this track sorted out. There we go. And now that I've got that junction in, we can connect them up. Get the A35. That's a good point, actually. We'd probably end up with a bit more money if we did that. Uh, where's the split? Here it is. Nice. Okay, so that's one of the two lines done. This one's going to be more expensive because it's got a tunnel. It's also going to be more tricky because it's got a tunnel. Um, pretty sure if we just come around here, that's going to be okay. But then what do we do about this tunnel? Do we make the tunnel part of the one-way network? Can we split in the tunnel? Oh, we can split in the tunnel. That's nice. That's good. Uh, in that case, we'll split from the entrance here. Can't see. I'm going to zoom in. There we go. That's not as expensive as I thought to widen the tunnel. There we go. Yeah. Being able to do the points in the tunnels. Absolutely fantastic. Oh no. No, not that. Now, how do I get in the tunnel to to click on that signal like tools waypoints tracks magic magic tool oh oh they are one way yes there we go and we can just pull those the signal I can't see it there's one signal there there's the other signal, just here. Oh, this is a bit finicky. I think I got it. Bear with me a second, folks. I just need to check something. 
Um, and there we go. How much longer is live going to run? Actually, not much longer. Uh, the live stream's going to be ending pretty soon. Um, I'm going to check on my son. He's not been well today. He uh, he's actually sick. He was actually sick in the living room, unfortunately. Um, earlier on. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna check on him, make sure he's all right before we do the uh, the gaming after party. So uh, coming back in here. Good. Okay. That one's one way. That one's one way. Okay. So we have got the lines in again. Uh, we need the trains, and that's going to cost a lot of money. And we got the, we haven't got the money right now. Uh, we can repay the loan a little bit, but at least the lines in to be able to shift more logs. I think we potentially could do with another ship as well because there's there's a relatively high amount of planks sat here. Transportation's actually 100. percent So that's not that's that's good. Ah, that is good. Right then, what have we got to do? We need to add trains to these lines. We need at least one train on each of those lines. We need to decide what we're going to do with this town. We need to do something with it. And it, it, this one could end up being massive. Because it accepts all the cargo types. Um, both of these two towns will be supplied as well. So I guess we need to look... At how we potentially supply this town with something and that is pretty much it for that side of the map we've got all this section over here to do at some point as well so I look forward to getting my hands on that uh, but you know what I think that's a good point to leave it because we've built the things that we wanted to build um, you know we've got our island here we've got chief mechanic island uh, with all the uh, machine parts coming through and it looks like we're making a decent bit of money off that uh, all of our lines are making money now even the little bus services at the bottom which is fantastic um, yeah you know what that fi oh, right I tell you what I will get those two trains because that's kind of an outstanding job so we're gonna borrow a load of money duplicate those trains send all the money back and then we'll be fine right so this train we're going to manage the vehicle and duplicate it and then where's the other train there's the other train we're going to no that's 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 not the train there's the train but we're going to manage the vehicle and duplicate it and then we'll give all the money back to the bank we can and we've got a ten and a half million pound loan dollar dollar loan well, hopefully with adding those extra vehicles in, we're actually going to get more money out of those trains that are coming. See, we've got these two trains that are just sat here at the moment. They're just sat here at the moment. Oh, I think it's because this train's in the way. Let's speed up the game a bit. So once that train gets out of the way, this train will come out. Yes, it is. Good. And then once that train's out of the way, the next train will come out. And whilst that train's turning around and coming back, the other train should wait for it. Shift click to, re click to replay all at once. That's a good tip. I always forget that. Oh, look at this. We've got two trains leaving here at different uh, at the same time, and they're going to cross there, another train. Wham. Fantastic. Now, hopefully, that is going to be part of making us absolutely loads of money. Okay, folks. Um, so thank you very much, everybody. It's uh, we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna leave it there for today. Um, for those of you who are, are going to be joining for the after party, I will see you over on Discord in a few minutes' time, and we'll get together and play some PUBG before the end of the night. But that's going to be all from me for now. Remember, I've got loads of videos and stuff on my channel. So if you haven't seen them, go and check them out. And I'll see you soon. Good night.